Hey guys, here we are again. This is a TM1 training class, and this is lab five. Today we'll be doing a exercise with TI processes. We'll use we'll use TI process to load a uh, TM1 cube. If you have any question about this lab or any other topic around TM1, you can drop me an email on cognos.class.10.2.2 at gmail.com. So we'll be, we'll be loading a cube using TI process. Let's start with it. So we have, this is our architect. Right click on this process icon create new process and you will see the turbo integrator interface and we'll select text because we'll be loading um, a cube using a text file Okay, so the file name is commissions.csv preview. So you can see there is a header header line in the file. So we'll say one preview. Let's fix that issue. So the first uh, tab in TI Turbo Integrator, uh, integrator is data source. So turbo integrator is compatible or can load data from any type of uh, database, text file, Excel files, um, analysis services cubes or EP cubes, TM1 cubes, framework manager package models. You can, but for now we'll be using the text, uh, the CSV file. So we selected a text. And our file is, I will show you the file. Okay, so our file is uh, comma delimited. So, and the first line is the header. And that's why in the TI uh, Turbo Integrator uh, interface, we have selected the comma. If your file is space delimited, you can select the space, or if it is tab, you can select tab. If it is semicolon, you can select semicolon, depending on your file format. And if you got two header rows, you will you can select two. But in our case, we have just one, so we selected once. Um, so let's move uh, to the next tab, which is variable tab. So. The file, the header line got these headers here, uh, the title uh, of the column names. So you'll find the variable names, all these columns as it is. I will show you the, the commission cube, how it looks like. The commission cube uh, got basically four dimensions. One is the company. So can see we got this is the company key dimension then total year we got total year here then we got commission measures you got five measures here then we got versions we got two versions here as you might be aware TM1 is stored data only for the leaf levels. It doesn't aggregate any of the data. What I mean by aggregation is if I swap these two dimensions, so you can see this is aggregation. Total year is aggregation. Q1 is aggregation. And January is the leaf level part. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so Q and uh, TM1 doesn't store anything in the memory for aggregation. It just store everything at the leaf level, and all these aggregation happen at, when you open the open a cube or open a view at runtime in the memory on the client side. All aggregation happen uh, at the client side. Anyway, that's what about it. Let's load the cube now. So we got uh, four dimensions, subsidiary, versions, commission, and then we have got month. The file format is, uh, the file we are loading, the format is uh, cross tab format. So it's showing uh, the whole dimension in the column, but that's okay, we can load it. So first I will say element type, element, element, because these are the dimensions and this is the data. So we'll select the data. 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 Okay, that's about the variables. Now the next tab is the map tab. Because our cube is already exist. So we won't create a new cube. So we'll say update. When you select the update, you need to uh, select a cube from here. Okay, we'll be doing, and don't worry about this. We'll just replace the existing value with the new values. So we'll select the store value. In the next video, we'll talk about the accumulate value and all other um, options uh, uh, when we load the cube, okay? So next, next tab is dimension. We'll select the dimension here. So subsidiary is our subsidiary version. We'll select versions, commission. We'll select commission measure is a dimension and data variable will select months, okay? Now in the data tab, wh why we selected months? Because the value in the file are on the junction of these three and each month okay so we'll supply for january february march april may june all values using this so we'll select january select february we'll select march we'll select april we'll select may i assume are you guys already aware about the dimension, the elements, the data, the members, the MDX concept, and the TM1 concept, and a bit of turbo integrator? But if you have any question, you can drop me an email and we'll arrange separation with you. September, October, and November. So we almost done with this tab. So our three tabs are complete. The, the four tab is the advanced tab. I assume you know about these four tabs here. So these four tabs contains all execution logic. Whatever the TI process or the turbo integrated process will execute, the all logic will stay here, okay? And when you create a turbo integrated process, doesn't matter what you do, you need to press each of these tab one by one. If you won't press or if you left pressing one of these tab, the, there are chances the logic inside this tab won't execute and your process will be inc incomplete, okay? So whenever you change or update anything in the DI process, you need to select all these tabs, okay? So you can see there are some logic automatically created for you. Um, so whatever in between these two lines here, the end generated statement and begin generated statement, 
is created by uh, TI process automatically. But you can write your own code as well, but uh, outside to this. And we'll talk about this, how we will write using TI functions and TM1 function, the, uh, uh, the controls, all this logic in the later videos, okay? So, or if you want to know, just drop me an email and we'll arrange something for you. The schedule, we'll save it. Demo load. Okay, and then we'll run it. If that message, so our process uh, finished successfully, if that message doesn't appear, it means there is something wrong somewhere in your, uh, the way you have created the TI process, okay? So you need to investigate. Um, there are too many ways uh, to investigate and in the, in the future classes, I will post a investigation video for how you investigate uh, when there are issues uh, with the TI process. But for now, our main intention is to see, to load the cube only. Okay, so I will go into the cube and recalculate and we can see the cube is, uh, is loaded successfully. All right. So that's for it. Today's lab. If you have any question about today's class, you can drop me an email on cognos.class.10.2.2 at gmail.com and we'll arrange something for you. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, just don't forget to subscribe or drop an email. If you have any question, just drop an email. Any question around TM1 or Cognos BI or Framework Manager or BI itself, you know, data warehousing, anything. Thanks. Bye-bye.